Good evening. It is 7 o'clock on Tuesday, August 6, 2019. I'd like to call to order the Sutton uh, Board of Selectmen's meeting. And if you would all uh, rise and join me with the Pledge of Allegiance, I appreciate it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Next up is public forum. Public forum is limited to five minutes per topic. Discussion or comments about town employees or agency members shall be avoided so as not to violate individuals' rights. Is there anyone here for public forum? Uh, seeing no one, we'll move on to minutes. Uh, we have minutes from our July 23rd meeting. Mr. Chairman, I would make a motion to accept the minutes from the July 23rd, 2019 Board of Selectmen minutes. Second. I have a uh, motion and a second. Any uh, comments or discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 That's four to nothing and yeah. one abstention. One abstention. Yep. Uh, next is uh, is our 4th of July uh, parade committee update. Jim, I don't know if you have any. No, I just as soon in, invite uh, Jonathan and April up. Um, we did meet after the uh, the event. Uh, I think the following week we discussed it, the issues, as I mentioned to the board in, in my update. Um, everything went well. Um, Great. So. Okay. We have a handout. I think some of you have already received the program, but there's extra stuff in there, so. So if you guys just want to introduce you. yourselves for the record, that would be great. Well, Thank I'm you. Jonathan Marshall. And I'm April Brown. Welcome. We started the, uh, the Sutton Fourth Committee. So if you want to just go ahead and... Uh, okay. I just wanted to take a little bit of your time um, just to thank everybody and thank the town and our sponsors. I just kind of want to go on record officially um, saying thank you to the entire town. Um, I'd like to, um, well, what we passed out there is the brochure or the, the did everybody get it? The, um, what do we call it? We'll call program, it program from our event. Beautiful. And, um, Thank you. Also in there, on the, the papers that are stuffed in there, that is a list of comments that we received on social media, in person. I, it's really just a sampling of the comments. And I think that's the best way to describe that day is just um, at your leisure. If you could just flip through those and, and see some of the feedback that we got on that day, it was, uh, it was incredible. Very so, heartwarming. Yeah. So um, I wanted you all to see that because the way I look at this, the whole town really, really came together on this in a way that I never expected when we started this. It was, uh, you know, you've all been a part of this as well. Uh, when we started this a year ago, the, you told us to come back bigger and, you know, do it do it bigger and better to ensure we had a, a success and April and I have the type that you tell us that we're going to do it bigger and better and we do, I think mm -hmm. we did. It's, uh, it was a wonderful experience and I want to thank everyone that was involved on the committee. Um, there were there are so many names. Um, I wish I could read everybody and, and thank everybody directly. Um, I'll just go through some of the quick uh, Key people, Vicki Bruce was in charge of the fireworks and did a fantastic job. Paul Dunn with the 4-H. Uh, Jana Garamy was our representative with the church. Who they were wonderful in what they allowed us to do over there. Use their facilities for meetings and their, their grounds for the uh, for the music and the food trucks. Um, Amy Kellogg, who was part of our uh, group, um, she ran the parade and did an amazing job. When I saw that, you know, we had been planning that for so long that to see it on paper was one thing, but to go down to that school and see them all staged there was absolutely mind-blowing. I, I never expected it to be that big, to have to be so many people together and just all enjoying themselves. It was wonderful. Uh, Amy did a fantastic job organizing all of that. Donna Libby did all the food trucks. Um, Tom Walker uh, did a lot with the shirts and a lot of background stuff. Uh, Kara Savelli and Genevieve. I don't even know how to say a last name. Pulia. 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 Um, uh, John Nessler helped us out with fundraising, did an amazing job. Tammy Erickson did the uh, kids area on the common. Um, so many other names. Um, 
Angela with her horse. You've seen at the, uh, the town meeting and so forth, helping us promote this. Uh, to just it was an amazing group to work with, and that was part of our goal with this, was to help everyone come together in this town for a common goal, uh, something that's just fun. And um, this committee, you know, it's 20 strangers that came together, and they all know each other, call each other friends now. It was amazing to work with this group. Um, and same, I think, with all of you. We got to know you all better. Um, working with the police department, with Dennis Toll, the chief, um, he was fantastic, taking a lot of weight off our shoulders. When, you know, we, this was, nobody in this committee has ever done anything like this before, so it was nerve-wracking, to say the least, for the year. <laughs> you know, you know a lot of the setbacks we had and the troubles we faced, but uh, Dennis was wonderful in taking a lot of that worry of um, parking and safety, <coughs> and, uh, traffic and safety off of our shoulders. Uh, Matt Belsito, the fire chief, was amazing to work with in getting the fireworks through. We had a lot of setbacks there, and he really helped grease the skids and get everything mm -hmm. going. So um, there's uh, just too many people to name, and that's, I guess, the common theme of what I'm trying to say to tonight is that the town as a whole just came together, and it was wonderful to see. It really was. Um, the center store, Whittier's, letting us put our cash buckets out to collect uh, spare change and so forth. We made a, a great amount of money there. The corporate donations, um, unified global packaging, made the fireworks possible, uh, Benjamin Insurance, John Nestler's company, the uh, Innocent Renewal Windows, um, All Care Medical in Millbury, so there were surrounding towns that donated as well. Um, and it was, uh, I, I know I'm missing naming people here, but the, um, yeah, it, again, the, the theme was it just, it was wonderful to see everyone come together. Uh, the personal donations, the and all the town employees. Uh, Debbie was wonderful to work with, keeping the communications open, keeping us going to meetings and talking to you guys. So just a big thank you to everybody. Uh, congratulations to everybody. This was a group effort. I think everyone in here had some part in this, the encouragement and, and everything. So we just want to say thank you. And, and thank you to the entire town of Sutton. I know we're still riding it. <laughs> still riding the wave. Good. Yeah. Good. And like I said, just go through those sheets of comments, and that, that's just a sample. We could, we could do 10 more sheets like that. It was uh, just to, and we continue to this day. I keep bumping into people, people I've never even met before, who just, uh, just very <coughs> happy about it. And they're, they're dying to see us do it again, and uh, we definitely like to. We've set a date for June 28th. For next year, yeah. Um, what I keep telling everybody, it's uh, it's an enormous amount of money to do something like this, and it, it's all about the sponsors. You know, go through those books and pick a sponsor. If you're looking to do services for, you know, are in need of some services, go through there and find somebody that you can give a shot and try them out and tell them the something fourth sent you and uh, make it a two-way street. Uh, you know, they support this event, we support them. So I, I think that's the biggest guarantee to make this happen again is if people go out and just make those comments to the sponsors that their, you know, their time and their, their efforts really paid off. Um, and if I could say, if anybody at home is looking for the programs, I try to keep them stocked at the center store. So I just keep delivering them. They're free. So anybody can pick one up there, yeah. um, see what it's all about. Yeah. Absolutely. And there were a couple of groups. I just want to quickly mention uh, Bart McCracken and American Power and Media Healings, uh, they, um, they helped us out with the stage and the sound system. And so there were a lot of other companies that gave time and services to us. Al's Rubbish, um, Chase Harris. Yep. Uh, Tony's Pizza. Tony's Pizza. Um, again, too many to name. I, I, I feel bad missing anybody, but you know how it is. It's, uh, <laughs> there were so many people involved. It's just, just a testament to how wonderful this community is. Yep. Uh, just so many people stepped up. So it was, uh, it was wonderful to see. Thank you all very much. Great. Well, I, I just suspect maybe there's some comments that people want to make around the table, so I'll open it up to the floor if you'd like. Uh, Jesse? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening to you both. Good evening, Jesse. The three of you. Yes. Angela's <laughs> hiding in the back. Um, first off, April, to your point about riding the wave, please keep riding the wave <laughs> because you've not at the crest yet. You know, it's well earned, so well done. Thanks. I do have just a couple of quick questions for you. Sure. Easy questions, fun questions. 
on the day of, and because and we know what was involved in the preparation, so let's just focus on the day of. What was the biggest positive surprise that you experienced? I think for me, the biggest positive surprise was that there weren't that many problems. It was, it went smoothly. <laughs> you know, I think we really planned for everything that could go wrong. We picked up every scenario. I mean, yeah, obviously there were little problems, but nothing that, you know, stopped us in our tracks. It was I just fun. Yeah. I had fun. I didn't, I didn't think I'd have fun on that day. <laughs> I actually yeah. had fun, you know, I enjoyed yeah. myself. I had one moment that day when I was, uh, I was in the parade and I was up here running around doing, worrying about trash and I, I was running late to get down there and I, I hopped on my tractor and drove down and um, it, it was, there was just mo one moment with Amy Kellogg who was, I know, having a hell of a time stacking everybody up and all the changes and everything. And, it, and as we were pulling out of there, as I said, when I went into that parking lot, it was just amazing to see who showed up to that, the, the level of creativity and the floats, the, um, you know, Blackstone National Golf, they, they were a last minute entry and I loved their float with the guy playing the sax and the little Fantastic. bar set up yeah. on there. It was just, it was just incredible to see all that creativity and happiness and to, drive in that parade just sort of as a nobody in the background and see, uh, I mean, literally hundreds of smiling faces along that, along Boston Road was just, uh, for me, that was the highlight of the day, just seeing all those people just really enjoying themselves and just having a good time. So that was, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it was a surprise really, but it was uh, much more overwhelming than I expected. Well, if I must say on the positive side, I think the picture of you that ended up on the Sutton site, <laughs> you bringing up the rear with the big smile on your face on your tractor. Yeah, I, I mean, a lot that day. Yeah, that, 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 that was a perfect, perfect <laughs> image, that's yeah, for sure. And that's credit to Abel. She yeah, I actually, I was on a float, float too. I was on a float a couple before him, and I knew I wanted to get him coming off the street with that <laughs> smile on his face. So I jumped off and went over to Polly's porch. So yeah, that was mission accomplished. It was awesome, that's <laughs> yes, for sure. Um, any significant hiccups? On the again on okay. the day of, yeah, um, there was some issues with traffic that I, I want to review with mm -hmm. um, with the police department mm -hmm. on not allowing people through. It, you know, residents in the closed areas. Um, mm -hmm. There was a lot of miscommunication, misunderstanding there, and um, there were some people, residents, who could not get home. They were turned away. They weren't allowed to get to their home. So that's something I want to discuss going forward. That was probably the biggest. Well, and also, even to this day, just yesterday, I had a conversation with someone who said that the reason she did not attend our event is because she could not leave if she wanted to. So we really did not, still to that day, were not clear um, as to um, the traffic flow. Um, you could leave. You just couldn't pass the center of town. Yeah, that was a and I don't know how many ways we could say it, yeah, but obviously we were not clear enough. Yeah. So w w that's so. something we need to work on. Well, I I'd like to personalize that because I did actually leave. We, d we did the parade, oh, yeah, and yeah. then there was the downpour, you, you and my wife was wasn't feeling good, so yeah. brought her home, and then we ended up coming back later. But it yeah. was just a matter of just going back down the street right. where your vehicle was. Right. Yeah. Then you could return to that lot and then come back to the center. Exactly. But, I mean, that it was I, I now take for responsibility yeah. for both those issues. Uh, you know, communication would have solved that, and we just got to find a better way. You yeah. know, for first pass, I'm not – I don't think we did a bad job, no, but I think we could do a better job um, improving the communications right. and letting people know more, you know, I don't know, through graphics or whatever exactly what's going on, where to park, how to get out, when to get out, that, you know, that could be improved. Well, well, the one thing you both have <coughs> in the committee as a whole has going for you is now you have precedent. Oh, yeah. You have something oh, to look right. at that when you meet with the chief of police, the, the fire department, Jim Smith, and so forth, okay, this is what we did last year, Most how are we going to go forward? I feel like we're already at the eight month mark right now. <laughs> you know, I mean, we've already set yeah, the, the yeah. foundation. Right. So it's, it's going to be so, so, we knew it was going to be easier, but even the stuff that we've accomplished so far for next year, it's just like, it's yeah. a breeze, you know, I mean, it's. Yeah. So much is just cookie cutter. We just got to. Now know. we can just improve. Right. So we hope to change it up a little, you know, of course, but um, it will be infinitely easier the second time. Right. Well, sure. well, I can say this much, is having the opportunity to do the parade route one and a half times. Yeah. I got to watch both of the bands, and I enjoyed the fireworks, sitting right next to April herself. Yeah, she, was um, nice it was just a you. wonderful day all along. Oh, so you. just before I pass the mic, so to speak, I would just advise you to come before us along the same timetable yeah. as you did last year. So maybe, you know, December, January, yeah. mm -hmm. and again, as spring rolls around, just to keep the town and us abreast. Perfect. I love that. Right, thank you both.
the three of you for all that you put <laughs> Thank in. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Wendy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, in the spirit of full disclosure, I had a very tangential role with the committee uh, <laughs> on, on the sidelines, but I want to disclose that. But wow, um, for a town of our size to have almost 4,000 people attend this event yeah. is incredible and is a testament to the three of you, to Donna and Amy, and just wow. I mean, that I am still just saying wow. And really, that Cuban street food at the food trucks <laughs> yeah. was the it, good. in the pouring rain. <laughs> that food was incredible. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> um, but the weather, as quirky as it was, worked out. Um, the parade was cool and dry, and we didn't have any paramedics coming out. And I'm just so impressed and so happy that everything turned out the way that it did. And I think that you were all consummate professionals, and I appreciate that Thank on behalf of the town. Um, I know that the town found you all incredibly easy to work with Very and important. through these processes. And there were hiccups, and some of them make sense. Mm -hmm. Some people's issues make sense. They do. But now you know, and you can deal with it. But from my perspective, looking at it as a third party as much as I can, I, I'm really quite impressed. It was a huge, amazing event. Um, one of my employees was here. Uh, she took one of the buses to the fireworks, and she overheard a, another passenger on the bus saying these were far better fireworks than she had ever seen at Disney, and she went every year. Mm -hmm. And that's really saying something remarkable. Uh, Vicki did an incredible job with Atlas, and wow, it was fantastic. So I look forward to you guys coming back to us. Um, I look forward to more options, mm -hmm. more opportunities, and what an incredible event. And I really think this makes Sutton stand out even more as just an incredible community that we're drawing people from all of the surrounding communities. And I thank you all for your efforts so very, very much. Oh, thank you. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. John. Thank you. Again, like everybody else said, um, it was an amazing day. Um, I had a lot of fun. My family had a lot of fun. <coughs> um, I really enjoyed the parade. Like Wendy said, the weather was just perfect. Like the timing, I remember sitting down in the staging area thinking, wow, there's a thunderstorm kind of just right <laughs> to our west and thinking that one's gonna be close. Yeah. And uh, saw a few bolts of lightning, but somehow it all cleared up and it was actually really beautiful during the parade. Yeah, and key areas it just cleared up for us. Yeah. Just had that little extra stress going. <laughs> you know. yeah, we yeah. were watching those same clouds. <laughs> yeah. you know, of course, we had a little shower after and yeah. scattered a few people, but it really recovered. And the fireworks, you know, like, like you said, were, were amazing. Like, that was, I was expecting a good fireworks display, but that was even better than I was ever expecting. So, um, really enjoyed it. Our friends and family enjoyed it. Um, you know, I'm excited to see what you come up with for next year and the things that you change and the things that you keep the same. So I'll be really interested when you come back um, in your next meeting. Um, you know, I don't really have anything more. I think everybody else pretty much covered, you know, um, anything we covered at this point. But again, great job. Great job to both of you for taking the leadership. And um, also thank you to the, the committee and then the town as a whole. Um, one question I do have is do you have an idea of, like, if how, like the numbers of people that were from out of town, like, there's no way to track it completely, yeah, we but really don't. yeah, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. No idea. just curious. Yeah. Mm. So well, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, all everything that's on here is the, the, the way I feel about it. Um, just I get we we played a small part in the actual parade, a very small part. Um, one of us had a float. Um, that they were riding on, <laughs> um, <laughs> but the re rest of us walked, and it, it and was good, very nice shirts, by the way. Yeah, I love the shirts. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> but it just made it, it was it made you proud of the town that you live in. And um, honestly, I was I was surprised. Um, I was I wasn't sure if there were going to be three hundred people there or three thousand people there. Believe me. Um, <laughs> then I we saw then either. I saw the, the <laughs> weather forecast and I said, well, I'm, I'm you know the over and unders you know I'm, I'm down to to the yeah. three hundred level, yeah. but. It was it was fantastic. Um, like I said, it made you proud of the town. <laughs> of, um, I was amazed at how many groups or floats that were lining up. Uh, how many were there in total? Um, we had tw fif 12 to 15 floats. Was it 12? 15, 15 floats. But just how many groups, but though? Got at least 50. 50. Yeah, because yeah. we were yeah. number 40. Some, and, yeah. and just us trying to find each other in, in the, the yeah. parking lot. Yeah, it, it was overwhelming. It, it was. Yes, um, yes. And but then Amy it did an incredible Amy, job. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh I, I was. She was all, yeah, you went down I to help her. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, I was part, very little help, but. Yeah, just, uh, I think I would have curled up in a fetal position. <laughs> well, my gosh, she's never way. done it before. No, she, no, she was so calm. And oh, yeah, my God. It was incredible. You know, and there was a long, I waited a long line to get into the elementary school parking lot. Yes. Yeah. Ended up having to turn around. But nobody was really getting upset that I saw. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, there were a few, but uh, for the most part, the yeah, crowd was Yeah, but not was really good. bad. Exactly. You know, exactly. it, it was. a lot worse. And there were, I mean, there was some hiccups in there that people had a reason to be upset about. There was some. Yeah, there, there was some stuff, you know, a little bit of misdirection. And yeah, I mean, I didn't see anybody that was really yeah, all, we, we you know, bent out of shape. So we've um, already had a, a very large number of people say see you next year, um, yeah. like our fife and drum bands, and they just had a great time. So they yeah. want to be included again. So that's fantastic. Yeah. You know. That's one one thing that when you're actually in the parade itself, you don't get to see all the. Yeah. You know what was ahead of you, but yeah. uh, you know I had a great time, and the, yeah. the fireworks were great. The food trucks um, were great. Um, we didn't do the, I didn't do the, uh, Cuban. the, the yeah. Cuban one, but uh, Dave and I did check out the fried ravioli, and they were, oh. they were awesome. Yeah, I heard so a lot of good things about that. So Bill cheese was really yummy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, thank you, and uh, yeah. I hope to see it again next year. Yeah. If if I can just ask one more quick question. Um, when you brought up the the per band participants, is there any chance of us reaching out again to the Sutton High School marching band now that one. this we is an established one. event yeah. to see if perhaps they could participate? Maybe yeah. with this much notice. I mean, Oxford know. was lovely, yeah. but I would really love to see Sutton participate. Yeah, and not just because it's Sutton, but we need a marching band. Absolutely. We, we not find a marching band. Yes. Yeah. Just Anybody can awesome. play a flute on a float. Yeah. But all the colleges, are, you know, because it's in the summer, all the colleges yeah. are out. Everybody was out. We just called and called and could not find anybody. So but it'd be, it'd be wonderful. More if special if we could get Sutton. Yeah, yeah, if you guys are still yeah, pursuing yeah, I mean, that, that would be lovely. Choice, you know, yeah, they're definitely our first choice. But so fantastic. Yeah, this year. Yeah, next year, we can do it. If anybody's listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, well, Everything that I that I really want to say has already been said, but but um, you know the I happened to see both of you before the parade went off, and I think what was most um, uh, I was most happy about that day was already you were talking about next year, <laughs> so I was I was grateful for that because uh, you know I know I know the amount of work that has gone into this has been more than tremendous, mm -hmm. um, and so um, really. You know, you came here to thank the town, and I think we're we're here to reciprocate. I think that what what we saw that day was fantastic, and y you know, we can nitpick and talk about a few things that that you know weren't as perfect as m you might like them, but the overwhelming uh, message that we've gotten back from the community has been nothing but positive. It was a great day. It was it was it was fantastic in every way. Um, so, you know, what I noted in the parade itself were how many people that really f marked this day on their calendar and made it an event. I mean, there were, the streets were lined with people who had yeah. clearly had guests, yeah. you know, come in from, from wherever yeah. and, and line up on their lawns to have a little party, you know, yeah. um, so. The big block party. Yeah, I think so. It was, it was a massive block yeah. party, I think, from the school to the center of town. It really and was. It was. And just the number of people that showed up to the yeah. event, I think, was, was really rewarding. I think uh, 
and so Jeff talked about it, but I had written down community pride. I think this really was an event that drew people together and, and really was a community event that, uh, uh, you know, you said earlier, we can just get better from here. And that's what I really anticipate is that years from now, this will just be on the calendar. This will be a thing we do in town Fresh, every year. A new tradition. A new tradition. Yeah. Yeah. It's the goal. That's and, beautiful. and we look forward to it. So, you know, uh, you mentioned it, but I, I think it's worth mentioning again. From my perspective, th there were so many people in town, so many people on the town side that, that were here to support um, everything that went on. But I have to mention Chief Belsito, who really did some um, spectacular things to make sure that that uh, yeah. fireworks event yeah actually yeah. got to happen. We did a lot of hurdles there. We, we wouldn't yep. have been able to do it without, yep. a, without yeah. the doubt. So, Definitely. like you, I don't want to leave people out, but I just felt yeah. like he deserved some uh, yeah. some special mention for that. Um, and, and uh, you know, that's really what I have. I think, uh, I think that, I think I mentioned to you um, in the week leading up to it that more volunteers for next year might yeah. be helpful. I think you got a town full of them, so well, yeah. that's I don't yeah, think I'll have a problem getting them. Yeah. Um, not just because I want to help, but this, re I mean, as I said before, getting 20 strangers together and, and all becoming friends, is, it's the reward from doing this, to see that day on, you know, that you work so hard to create and then to see it unfold and, and just be wonderful, it, it's just an amazing mm -hmm. reward. So I really hope others step up, not, as I say, not because we need the help, but just for their own personal benefit. Sure. I think it's very, very rewarding. Yeah, that, that's part of the community pride, I think. Different ideas, and you know, it's that's what it's all about: quality of life in town, and sure. pride in town, and getting yep. involved and just being a part of this. It's a, it's a wonderful experience. I hope everybody can experience it. So. Well, I will just say it again: congratulations. I think Thank it was uh, tremendous. Thank you for having us tonight. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Guys. See you next year. Yeah. <laughs> Next up on the agenda is a complete streets policy. <coughs> Jim. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this is a, a recommendation. Actually, Matt Stencil, the highway superintendent, came in and, and, and talked to me about this. And uh, I thought it's uh, worthy of the board's consideration. Um, the, the whole idea is to for the board to pass a policy that um, is essentially the complete streets policy. And it provides funding for all modes of transportation. Um, you know, we received $30,000 already in technical assistance to develop the whole plan and concept. Um, you can get construction funding up to 400000 per year. Uh, per project um, and, and you know Sutton is a unique community we don't have it's not like uh, you know a Framingham or an Auburn even where they have you know uh, bike lanes and they have crosswalks and they have all sorts of uh, lights and signals letting people know when to cross and everything else it's it's a it's a rural community so the opportunities to utilize this are somewhat limited within the town of Sutton um, this essentially provides a, a, a philosophy, a way of thinking for the highway department when they're looking at doing road work in the town. Um, they're going to look at um, how can we make it more friendly uh, to pedestrians, to walkers, and to other types of uh, people that use these roads other than just vehicles. Um, so that's the whole concept, and, and you know we have identi uh, identified a few areas that we are thinking about uh, using this grant, <coughs> um, predominantly in the village areas, uh, Wilkes and, and uh, Manchog, and uh, even the center of town. Uh, there are opportunities where there are crosswalks, there are sidewalks that um, we could access some free money, if you will, from the state. Uh, to uh, to help us with the limited funds we receive through the Chapter 90 program. So that's the whole concept, is another uh, financing source for roads. We, Matt is also working on um, a TIP project, the Transportation Improvement Program through the CMRPC. 
um, and to get on the list, uh, which is takes a number of years to get authorized and approved. Um, but Matt is currently working on a, a TIP proposal for, uh, I won't say which road, but we are looking at a couple of different roads within the town that are large enough and they are potentially TIP qualified that we could apply for that, uh, that uh, state money uh, okay. through that program. So it's another option uh, for funding for the roads in town. Uh, we need all the money we can get to work on the roads. So. I'm presenting this policy to you for consideration. Thank you. Jesse. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks, Jim. Sure. Uh, I got a couple of questions for you, of course. Um, any downside to this? You know, Matt and I talked about it. We didn't see a downside. It, 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 it's a more transparent process when we're dealing with roads. Um, if we're going to uh, address a number of roads, uh, we'll probably have to bring them to the Board of Selectmen. Uh, and rather than doing what I'm doing tonight and in, in, in my update telling you what roads we're planning on doing and how, how that uh, meets our plan, this probably requires <coughs> pre-approval by the Board of Selectmen uh, because some, the majority of roads that we're gonna work on are not part of the Complete Streets program. Um, and we'll talk about why they're not uh, applicable to that. There are a number of outs within the policy as you can read. Um, and, and it, you know, if you if the funding is an issue, if 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 finances are an issue and you can't afford it, then that's that's out. But it is a process that we need to go through, which adds a new layer that we need to take. But I think it's an important one, and and kind of makes the whole process transparent. Um, at some point, probably in the fall, or I hate to wait until snow and ice over expenditure to have Matt Stencil come in because he's doing a lot with. Uh, the roads and trying to find ways that we can get road work done. We, we <coughs> did a lot of chip sealing uh, earlier in this, this construction season. We, we're working on Central Turnpike. We've got, you know, a number of roads identified for Chapter 90 funds. So we have a comprehensive plan moving forward. Um, but I'll, I'll at some point I'll have Matt come in and, and talk about a lot of this stuff. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Matt came before us a few years ago and talked about the um, the implementation of the software program yeah. to identify the, the overall well-being of the Payment roads. management so plan, yeah. Exactly. So I, I think if, if he appears before us, sure. you know, I don't want to put the burden on him no, to come no. multiple times a year, but definitely around paving season is a good idea. Yeah. And the thing that I do appreciate the fact that there is uh, very limited handcuffs, per se. Yeah. Um, exactly. Side note, um, I, I know the fact that, uh, I mean, how do we demark roads that aren't painted per se a lot of roads that we have some of our back roads don't even have lines could we use this program to potentially add a little extra paint um, supplies that way so okay maybe we don't have width to put in bike lanes per right. se but if we could at least get a center line in, in yeah. some of the points um, it, it, it's, it's possible um, you know um, I know Matt's very creative we'll have to find ways to that we can access these funds right um, and, and, you know, we, we have a certain budgeted m amount within the highway department for painting lines. Um, and that those are uh, generally center lines where we hire a contractor to come in and do them, not sidewalks and everything else or crosswalks. That's done by the, the staff down right. at the highway department. But that's a good point. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I would advise is um, if we get to the point where we're implementing such a program that we give significant notice to the residents, because I know in Millville, where my father lives, um, they applied for something a lot along the lines of this. They are widening the road, they're adding sidewalks, they're putting in a bike lane, and the residents didn't get proper notice. They were kind of blindsided by it, and there was a big to-do, if you will, in town meeting. So I, I think if we're gonna endorse this policy, um, there definitely has to be an education component that goes with it. Because you and I know that, okay, my yard doesn't end where my grass ends, right. but yeah, rather the right town. Around. Right, exactly. Y so. You know, I, I don't plan on doing anything like uh, shortening Central Turnpike and putting sidewalks on there so uh, some people could walk down that sidewalk, which, you know, it, it there'll be nothing like that being done in the town of Sutton. Millville is a more condensed area. Uh, well, you know Millville. Yeah, yeah, it's I a know. condensed area, and it's, it's a and tight area. And it's a main area. road, but, but my point was that 
the administration at the time didn't give proper notice, yeah, which caused enough. consternation. So fair enough. Um, that's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, what a great opportunity. I am not one to turn up my nose to free money, yeah. which is exactly what I perceive this to be. Uh, when I first read through it, the core commitments made me a little concerned because I wasn't really sure how many of those bullet points we hit. But then when I hit best practices, I felt a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, we are practicing best practices. So I give all the credit to Matt for pursuing that and for pursuing these grants. And I think it's fantastic. And I will wholeheartedly support this motion because I think it can only benefit the community. Great, thank you. Jonathan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I mean, I agree. I think you know, looking for um, you know, funding wherever we can on top of the Chapter 90 money. Um, in a small town like this, we have limited resources that we can put to roads. We have many miles of roads. Um, there's a lot of challenges that we have in maintaining them as people have experienced over the last winter. And, um, you know, I think it's great that Matt's being creative and looking out there what's, uh, you know, what the possibilities are and, you know, being able to take this potential source and then apply it where we may not have thought to add some components before that we can now maybe add them because we can possibly have funding for them, yeah. you know. And I do think of... Uh, areas where we could maybe put some sidewalks in where they're heavily trafficked by walkers. I mean, I mean Boston Road from the school or from like eight lots down to uh, where the self sidewalk exists today would yeah. potentially be a good spot to look at. Because yeah. um, I see a lot of walkers going up and down that road. It's probably the flattest, the least hills in the whole town. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that would be a perfect <coughs> application for this grant. Yeah. And if we could get, you know, $400,000 to help us do that, then yeah. that would be worth looking at. Yeah. That makes it more feasible. So yeah, I mean, I'm appreciative of any thing we can do to uh, add to the money that we have today, which which is limited. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, <coughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I I'm all in favor as, as well. I di I guess I just wanted to follow up on something that Jesse said. Um, there's no handcuffs per se, so to speak, on other projects or. On other projects, just in terms of all these different practices, where you said it was a little bit more, it seems a little bit more cumbersome, where you you have to come to the yeah, board first. And yeah, there is a process that we need to go through to get you know uh, either approve or not approve the uh, the uh, use of state funds uh, for this program. Uh, but there are a number of outs, if you will. Um, you know, the uh, core commitment has a number of uh, bullets. Uh, numbers yeah. that uh, cost is a big one um, and we're a rural community and we have limited resources and so cost will be a big one on a lot of these projects um, topography right-of-way environmental constraints that do do not allow uh, all uh, to accommodate all users that that's another big one you know topography is a big issue here in the town of Sutton to do uh, you know sidewalks on Menden Road it, it it's never going to happen. Right. Um, it's it's a tight road to begin with, and you know we're not looking at widening roads or doing anything like that. Um, we are but trying to access a pool of funds for a, a limited uh, a limited scope of work. So that that just applies to the projects where we would get state money, but will it also? Do we have to go through that process for all the projects that we have? Even if we're not applying for state You know, money? I'll get some more clarification on that. Um, I, I don't have a problem doing that. Um, okay. You know, it, it, it's just sort of the reverse of what I'm doing tonight, letting you know right. these are the roads that are being done. It's coming up and saying these are the roads we'd like to have done um, and, and asking the board to sign off and give permission for us to do these roads and explain how they're how we're improving the pavement management plan by doing these roads and mm. the co highest cost benefit analysis and all the work we put into preparing the roads that are going to be done. Yep. Okay. So not a tremendous amount of work on our side. Good. Okay. Thank you. So if I understand this correctly, we need to really have a policy, this policy or something like it in order to access these funds. That's, that's correct. That's it, it, it's, it's required to get it done. Step. And it sounds also like the layer of administration you're adding has to do with 
considering this policy for each thing that you're going to do. I even if it turns out that you're not actually going to use or apply for, for funding to do some specific thing, it just says, hey, you know, we think about other uses besides vehicles when we do these things, and this is how we applied in this case. That's exactly right. That's exactly what we plan on doing. It, you know, it, 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 it's almost a, a, a shift in mindset uh, from the planning process, and that starts really with Matt Stencil and evaluating what roads need to be done. So he'll go through this process, he'll talk to me about it, and then eventually we or I will talk to the, to the Board of Selectmen about it. Okay. Well, I, I, you know, as I think most of us have said, then the ability to, to potentially access some funds. I don't think anybody in town should say we've got an extra $400,000 worth of highway funds now. That's not what this is about. But there might be some circumstances where we can use some funds to, to improve our roadways a little bit. So I'm, I'm in favor of it. Mr. Chairman, may I make a motion? You may. I would make a motion to accept the complete streets policy for the town of Sutton as presented. Second. That's a motion and a second. Uh, do I hear any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Passes five to zero. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think we're ready to move on to a town manager's update. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have a few updates for the board. Um, the, it, it's been a busy time of year for bidding projects out, et cetera, but I will try to go through them uh, rather swiftly. Uh, Central Turnpike bids were open on Friday, March 26, uh, Friday, <laughs> Friday, July 26 at 11 a.m. <laughs> uh, we had four bidders uh, pre-qualified under the Mass Highway uh, uh, statute. Uh, J.H. Lynch and Sons won the bid for $630,327. So um, they uh, outbid P.J. Keating by almost $140,000, or a little over $140,000. Uh, uh, we're we I signed a notice of award to J.H. Lynch. We are currently working on a contract, and so construction should pl take place during this construction season. Um, you know, J.H. Lynch is working on a number of different projects statewide, um, but uh, our expectation is the work will be done. Uh, prior to the winter uh, so that that is uh, great news and even better it's it's for the base bid plus alternates one and two uh, base bid is from Silver Ledge Road just shy of 146 out to Fuller Road uh, phase uh, alternate one is uh, drainage along the side of the road uh, and alternate two is doing additional work on Central Turnpike beyond Silver Ledge Road. So there are some periods of really broken up asphalt uh, along that uh, uh, road. Um, just shy of Cater's Pond is one, uh, um, and uh, a couple of other areas that we plan on taking care of. So uh, it, that, that was a, a, a great uh, a win. And now with that, knowing that we didn't need to spend an excess of Chapter 90 monies to complete the Central Turnpike Road. We have the list of uh, Chapter 90 work that we intend to do this season, and they include Hutchinson Road, uh, approximately 4,500 feet, McGuire Road, 2,200 feet, Hartness Road, 1,000 feet, Providence Road, 800 feet, and Lackey Dam Road, 4,300 feet. Um, so We'd like to proceed with those roads. Um, and obviously, if the bids come in uh, attractive and we're able to complete all this work with not a lot of change orders, we may have additional money to work on Manchog Road, uh, which has some issues uh, it's itself. But um, it, it's really, uh, it'll be a good season for road work and uh, police details, I'm assuming, as well. But um, so. I'm, I'm excited to get moving forward on this. Uh, library sidewalk bids were opened on Thursday, July 25th. Uh, Matero Construction won the bid. That's the same company that's doing the work down at the schools. Um, and um, they're doing a great job down at the schools. They did have a, a little issue down at the, uh, at the school department where drainage was an issue. Um, you know, they, they, they put the concrete sidewalks in uh, when it was originally built, um, but you know, in that, 
covered up a lot of the, the subsurface drainage issues that existed. And eventually what happened is you had the pavement and concrete heave at different locations and created the breaking up of the, that system. Um, so they've added drainage systems feeding uh, catch basins along that area in a couple different areas. Um, so that should help with the drainage issue. Um, we are working now with the school department um, on that. Um, but th th as far as the library, uh, the, the bid came in slightly over what we appropriated. If you include design and construction, um, we will take that extra money out of um, a, an additional fund that, that Tim is, has identified. So, um, so we will be able to move forward with the, uh, the library construction. Um, so it, it does uh, repair the concrete sidewalks. It does raise the catch base and raise, raise the paving up higher to meet the sidewalk. And it also uh, uh, adds a couple of uh, piles for potentially uh, a cover over the library entrance um, to prevent uh, water dripping on people's heads as they come into the library entrance. So um, the sewer extension uh, to the schools. Uh, On-site engineering will be here at the next meeting on August 20th. Uh, to present with Sewer Director Don Obachowski and Chris McClure from McClure Engineering. Um, we will present a revised project going from the Pleasant Valley Villas to the school department complex in one uh, borrowing and uh, one attempt. Um, we, we previously had this project going to the center of town in phase one, and phase two was bringing it down to the schools. After listening uh, to the board and and, and talking about it with the designers and everything, w we decided to um, have it all in one, uh, one project. Um, serving the center of town was an important step in it, uh, but it really didn't get to the goal of serving the school department. The real benefit of this project is um, getting the school department off their wastewater treatment plant. Uh, the annual maintenance cost is between $130,000 and $150,000 a year. Uh, it's the year one that the sewer department, the sewer is down there. Uh, that's an extra hundred and fifty thousand dollars they have in their operating budget. So that's a great relief to their their budget. Uh, but also the capital improvement needed in that wastewater treatment plant is extensive. Um, according to Roger Raymond, um, you know it's probably th we have three years left on that, and then it's going to cost us. We don't know the number, but. Uh, you know, I've heard a million dollars thrown around at least to, to essentially take the roof off of that because it was built internally and replace the bladder and all the internal workings of it uh, to essentially build a new transfer uh, wastewater treatment facility. Um, a significant capital expense, um, and this would not only alleviate them of that, but also the annual operating cost with a contract, typically with Whitewater uh, Engineering. So. Uh, that, that, is, um, that is coming before the board on August 20th, uh, so get your questions ready. Um, McClure Engineering has, is working uh, with the sewer department, um, identifying the ability to, to dig an additional well down there um, that will be able to replace the gray water system within the wastewater treatment plant, which will provide enough water to flush the toilets. Um, so there's, it really takes away the need of the wastewater treatment plant away and uh, allows for sewer to come in. That water, w that well would just be for gray water. It wouldn't be potable. Um, it's not going to, you know, it's not drinking water, but it, it would be enough water to uh, replace the gray water system. Um, MRA donations. Uh, we received two donations from MRA. Um, the first uh, donation was the summer solstice on Friday, June 21st, in the amount of $960. The second donation, and that comes to the town of Sutton. The second donation was for the food pantry in the amount of $600. So, you know, uh, MRA does a great job. They leave nothing behind them. They don't leave any trash or anything else. It's almost as if the event never occurred. And, um, and ultimately, the town receives not only the whole 
you know, what we, we were talking in the 4th of July parade, community spirit, but also some resources to, to benefit uh, the town. Uh, enclosed, you'll find the fall town meeting schedule. Um, I will present the draft warrant to the board on went Tuesday, uh, September 17th. And the Veterans Monument Cleaning. Wilfred Tremblay uh, is the owner, owner of a monument cleaning service and volunteered his services to clean veterans monuments around the town of Sutton. Um, I've enclosed some pictures. He did a wonderful job. Um, and I, I would like to thank Mr. Tremblay. I'm sure the board would like to do that as well. Uh, we've got a lot of work going on with monument cleaning and preservation. And the Sutton Historical Society is working on um, uh, cemetery um, repair and reconstruction. So, you know, maybe I'll have uh, them come in with the cemetery commission and they can do a presentation to be f before the board because we're spending some money on this, but it, it will greatly improve the look uh, and, and um, presentation of our cemeteries, particularly the cemetery behind Town Hall, which is falling apart, stones falling over, cracked in half. Um, we will repair all of it. It'll cost us a little bit of money, but it, it's a great uh, benefit to the town. So that's all I have for our case, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, Jim. Jesse. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Jim, phenomenal news from beginning to end. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, just a couple of quick <coughs> comments. Um, I was glad to hear that it was Lynch that had the most advantageous bid um, because in talking to Matt Stencil, not only is their plant the closest in terms of yes. proximity, but also there's a good working relationship that they have with the town. So it, it's nice to see. They do nice good work. See. They really are. Absolutely. So they're familiar with the area. Right. They understand the breadth of the project, and, yeah. and I'm sure they'll do good work getting the pavement all the way down to K-A-T-T-O-R, Cater's Pump. Um, <laughs> do you have any idea in terms of the mileage uh, for the road work? Oh, that's a good question. Because uh, I, I, off the top of my head, I can't do feet to miles. Yeah, uh, well, 5,280 feet per mile. Is that what it is, I think? Mm -hmm. Give or take. So usually you're about, we're talking about the mile and a half to two miles per year that we usually do. Yeah, you know, Chapter 90 funds generally takes care of that, but adding Central Turnpike on top of that, uh, that probably adds another two miles to that. So that's a significant amount of road work to Perfect. take place this year. Now, will these roads, I'm assuming Providence, or the, the more heavily traveled roads, will probably get the traditional two coats of asphalt. Will um, Hutchinson um, harness, will they get the chip seal? No, you know? those no. will be it's, it's all paving, double basin, and uh, cover coat. Well, as a frequent uh, traveler on Hartness and Providence, I know that these roads definitely need a lot of TLC, so yeah. I was glad to see that. Um, glad to hear about the, the sideway project for down at the library, and as well as progress at the school. Yep. Um, but I know in the library in particular, I know there was access and um, issues with, you know, the door needing replacement, and it's nice to see that that's going to be getting done. I'm glad that you appreciate uh, the water coming down, so yep. I'm sure the visitors of the library will appreciate that. So thank you, Jim, for that. Wonderful. Um, I'm going to hold my comments for sewerage until we actually have the presentation. Um, MRA, talk about wonderful town partners. They've been coming before us every year since I've been on the board, and they've always willingly given back. So thank you to everyone who's involved with that group, and thank you for the donations. Fall town meeting is fall town meeting. Can't wait for that. And um, thank you to Wilfred Tremblay. Um, yeah, I, I'm glad that he was willing to do this because... Uh, particularly on Memorial Day, you know, myself and Dave and, and, and others, you know, do travel around to some of the different cemeteries as well as monument markers in town. And, you know, I'm not saying that they are forgotten per se, but, you know, they stand there and, and, and just having the opportunity to give them a little attention yeah. and clean them up. I just think that's wonderful. And the fact that he, he did this voluntarily, yeah. you know, that there's good community spirit. So <coughs> well done. Um, and... I don't know the date off the top of my head, but I'll just throw it out there. I thought I had it in my phone, but I believe the Historical Society is doing some work in the cemetery behind Down Wall Hall. I think it's on August 26, but don't hold me on yeah, that Yeah, we're going to have uh, some consultings come, f come up from Connecticut that are specialists in cemetery stone cleaning and repair. Yeah. Um, and we're going to pay for those uh, out of the operating budget and... Uh, have the training take place. Yeah, perfect. It's going to be a, a fun day, that's yeah. for sure. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, so excited about the Lynch bid. 
uh, for m a multitude of reasons. Yeah. Uh, but I think they're a great town partner, so I think it's it's going to be pretty successful. And as someone who travels Hutchinson and Lackey Dam frequently, wow, I am even more excited. I super excited about that. Yeah, you know, the thing about Lackey Dam and McGuire is is the, the other towns, there's really three towns that intersect in that area. Those other two towns have done the work. Right. Uh, it's really the town of Sutton section that is so beat up. And right. so it's time for us to kind of. And it really screams out at you <laughs> as you're, yeah. you almost feel like you're trespassing over. Um, you know the top line is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty clear. Right. Fair enough. <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. Um, and, and, and I'm excited for the town. The town has dealt with Central Turnpike for far too long. And so I think this is going to be fantastic. Uh, library bids, fantastic. Uh, very excited about that. Um, I agree with Jesse. I'm going to withhold my comments on the, the sewer project. Um, MRA, incredible. We can't ask for a better community partner. Their events go off without a hitch, and we benefit. And frankly, I don't feel bad about that at all. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm very, very pleased about that. Um, to Mr. Tremblay, when I looked at these photos this past week of the before and after, I was literally moved to tears because everyone talks about doing something and no one does anything. And he did such an amazing job that really couldn't be replicated by someone who wasn't a professional. So thank you so much. And I really hope that the members of the community take the time to go out and appreciate those monuments. They all have a huge amount of significance. And go out, appreciate them, enjoy them, because winter's coming soon, and you're not going to be able to. Mm -hmm. So go do it now. But that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Jonathan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And thank you, Jim. I very, like everybody else, I'm very happy to see the Central Turnpike project moving forward and getting that done before winter sets in. I'm really, you know, just for lots of reasons, it's a really good thing for the town. Um, and just the overall amount of road work that we're doing this year, you know, and we're probably going to do this for quite a few years going forward. <laughs> um, you know, like as you mentioned, that Lackey Dam, you can definitely tell when you cross the town line. You don't need a sign saying it. Um, McGuire Road, like you said, is equally as bad. I travel that. And it's pretty bad in that stretch from Lackey Dam up until the town line. Yeah. It's pretty rough as well. So hopefully we can get some relief uh, oh, yeah. sometime soon for that. Um, see the sidewalk. Do we have kind of a general start date of when that project's going to happen? Uh, notice of award was issued. Uh, the same situation as Central Turnpike, awaiting <coughs> the material to come in and sign the contract. And then... Um, you know, he's finishing up the work down at the <coughs> school department, so as soon as that's done, and it's, he just did the top level of paving down there for the sidewalk, so within the next couple of weeks, I would assume it would get started. And it's good it's, it's the same contractor, so we have, uh, you know, understanding of how he works. And right. Yeah, so that worked out good. Uh, um, <coughs> you know, the sewer extension, I'm glad to see that we're considering going straight to the school. I'm very interested to see what the, the plan is and presentation but I think this is the right direction um, M the MRA again just like everybody else said it's amazing you know that they give us money they come in they use our, our, our uh, facilities leave no trace behind yeah. and create a great community event and then, then on top of it all you know give us donations right. it's just great and ag again just another uh, an example of um, kind of a partnership between town and, and different organizations that I'd like to see more of. Um, see, Veterans Mom, yeah, Ms. Mr. Tremblay, yeah, I, I saw the, the before and after pictures as well. It's amazing. It must have been hours worth of work um, that he's donated his time to do and the respect that he has given each of those, you know, monuments and the veterans that are involved uh, in their sacrifices and yeah, um, and then to hear that we're also embarking on a larger project to repair and clean up 
headstones and monuments throughout all of our cemeteries. You know, there's a lot of broken stones and falling over. So yeah. um, what a way, way to respect people that became before us. So I'm really excited about that. And right. I'm happy that we're contributing you know, budget money for that because I think that's a worthy, worthy cause. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> um, this, uh, I gotta say, uh, tonight has been an amazing meeting to, to me in terms of the, the whole community pride thing between the 4th of July committee coming in. I mean, it, with all the news that has been bad lately, yeah. everything that's been on the agenda tonight has just been positive uh, about the town, whether it's, in the f again, 4th of July, Mr. Tremblay, uh, the pictures are amazing, the, the before and after, and th really all the thanks to him. Um, it was a lot of work to do what he did, and, and it can't, they, they're beautiful. Um, MRA, uh, multi-sport, uh, again, a, a tremendous event. A lot of, uh, you know, it, again, it's just all um, <coughs> pr makes you proud that you live in this town. Um, and all the work that's going to be done on, on the roads and so forth. Um, I'm not going to go, you know, reiterate everything that everyone said, but it, it's just all positive tonight. I'm very uh, glad, though, about the um, sewer extension, the, the project. Um, we're looking at it as one one project as opposed to two phases because I think the residents will be able to see the value of the whole project rather than have taking it piece by piece. So, um, and hopefully we'll be able to make the right decision on that. And I'm, I'm for me personally, wanting to, I want to know whether or not the school phase is going to be successful before we vote on the whole thing. So I think that's great that, that it's all, all one. Uh, you know, and I don't know if I made this clear in my initial reading and my update is that, you know, the, the Board of Selectmen des deserves a lot of credit because y you folks kind of listened to the presentation and you, you pushed back a little bit and said, hey, look, I think you need to go back to the drawing board and reconsider this. Uh, even during our goals meeting, it came up again and, and it really started churning in my head and, and like what is the objective of this project and um, so the board deserves a lot of credit for you know forcing us to go back to the drawing board again and again and just rethinking why are we doing this and it really is to take the school department off their wastewater treatment right. plant that is <coughs> failing in at end of life um, that's objective number one but we do have a lot of questions that we need to answer including uh, borings so we can identify where the ledge is and where the rock is and you know taking the gray water system offline and do we have a solution for that and so a lot of different questions but a lot of the credit goes back to the board for right. raising these questions. But I think those questions need to be answered before we can make a, an informed decision so. Good point. Um, that's, that's all I have it's just really it, as I go through this and listen to it it's just been an, an amazing night and just makes you proud to, to live here so thanks. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jim, for the update. I'm going to thank my colleagues, actually. I think we've had a lot of good comments tonight. I, I want to talk about paving a little bit. Um, you know, as everyone's noted, I think that, that Lynch has come in with such a good bid, you know, has allowed us to, to not only expand the project, but, but also to be able to hit all the other Chapter 90 projects that we had on the list and didn't have to sort of... Um, steal a little bit of that money to, to supplement the central turnpike project which which could have happened if the bids didn't come in favorably right and when I look at this I really look at this as sort of um, you know a, a, a one big plan the central turnpike plan plus the other chapter 90 money that we're putting into this because I think there's some things to talk to the town about with this you know uh, my math said somewhere like two and a half two and a quarter two and a half miles of roadway that we're going to do with straight chapter money, uh, chapter 90 money, um, and and but without the money that the town voted to be able to do the central turnpike project, then our our pavement management plan essentially would have said we're behind schedule. It took extra money. Um, it in fact it took more than the uh, more than an amount equal to. The chapter 90 money. How much was the chapter 90 mon money? Four hundred fifty thousand dollars, approximately. And we voted an extra six hundred thirty thousand, let's say, um, to the plan for this one year to be able to accomplish staying even, not getting ahead. Right. So while I'm excited that 
that this amount of roadway is going to be done and you know everybody's happy <coughs> about central turnpike part of what we need to understand is that the source for the money for central turnpike is not a recurring source of, of revenue that we will not have the resources to be able to vote this year in, year in and year out and so you know our pavement management plan essentially says we're going to fall behind we don't have we don't get enough chapter 90 money from the state to be able to maintain our roads at a just a break-even level and I don't I don't think it's a shock to anybody if I say our roads are not in great shape so staying even is really just maintaining you know not 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 a great status of our roads overall so uh, my point really is I think that as we move forward the town and this board will need to sort of continue to look at um, ways to deal with our roadways uh, because right now I don't think what we what we have is adequate so I'm really excited about this year but looking beyond this year you know it's still it's still a topic we're gonna have to deal with so um, uh, you know I, I'm glad you picked up on, on what you just said Jim about the sewer extension I this what you're bringing to us tonight is a really significant change to where we had been on this project up until now and so I want to say thank you for, um, you know, for hearing the feedback that you were getting and making some changes. And I think, you know, I think you said it well, Jeff. But uh, we'll wait until we hear the presentation, and we'll know then kind of where we're at status-wise. All right. Thank you. Wendy mentioned uh, the, the beautiful pictures that we have in our package, and maybe I'm an accountant because I thought you were talking about the checks. <laughs> <laughs> MRA, but. Uh, there's so many things I could say to That's you That's accounting right now. humor. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, Dave. We've been talking about MRA for a long time, and this is just annual reinforcement of the great job that they do. And, and we're proud to have them in town and, and certainly thank them for, for the donations that they Absolutely. give. And, and none of that was meant to uh, diminish the work that Mr. Tremblay has done because it is spectacular. Uh, you know, just to see the pictures is amazing, and to go see them in, in person, I think, is the right thing to do. So, Jim, does the town have the ability to see these photos? I mean, well, uh, can we put them on? We can look at that. The town Facebook page. Yeah. So um, that we and you know, I think we can post it. them in color too, which is yeah. really kind of you know more dramatic. Because they're uh, really stunning. Sure, they are. And I think that people will really be touched. Sure, we'll look at that. Thank you. And can we include the location of where they're located so people can actually go see them in person yeah. if they'd like? Sure. Yeah. Sorry, I, I no. apologize. No, that's great. I appreciate it. All right, I think that's it for the uh, for the town manager's update. I think we can move on to announcements, <laughs> selectments, roundtable, correspondence, and business topics. Jesse? I have a few, as always. Um, I guess I will go sequentially. Um, a week and a half ago, I went up to Waters Farm. Um, every last Sunday of the month throughout the summer season, they have a tractor pull. And I went down there, and they had a rather large turnout. They had about 12 to 15 tractors going. And, and again, it's, uh, we're a farming town. We're going to be able to sit in and just watch some of these old machines pull hundreds and hundreds of pounds of concrete, you know, a certain distance. You know, it's, it's man, machine, muscle. It was just really fun. Additionally, um, the Waters Farm community, um, committee rather, had the house open. So there were tours going on. Um, so thank you to Norma and Wanda and Pam and Bob for just, you know, having this place in town where um, all residents can go and visit and just kind of just breathe in, you know, the history. So it was definitely an enjoyable time. Um, this past Sunday, I did the annual... Uh, run from St. Mark's down to the food pantry, the Mike Chizzy food pantry. And uh, I, I, I really cannot say enough about the generosity of uh, my fellow par parishioners at St. Mark's because once again, my truck was full and this week we actually had my wife's car there. So fortunately we had a little overflow. So, you know, filled to the brim. So thank you very much. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the need at the food pantry is, you know, ever fulfilled because as Michelle Edelstein will tell anybody who asks, in Sutton, a wealthy town like Sutton, there are nearly 300 families that draw on that um, on a regular basis. So even though there was a substantial donation made, there's still a need. And the list is rather small, and I'd like to share it. Um, they're looking for laundry detergent, 
dish detergent, cleaning supplies, um, deodorants, men and women's, shampoos, liquid hand soap, juices, preferably of the low sugar um, um, option if possible, canned ham, spam, and hamburger helper. Last night, because never a dull moment in my life, last night I stood on um, an awarding board for who is going to be, actually technically is, Sutton's 60th Eagle Scout. Uh, John Warren, a young man um, who's going to be going to Mass Maritime with my son, pr um, presented a project, ironically, involved the cleaning of Wilkes Cemetery. Um, he worked with the Cemetery Commission last um, fall and winter, and he, along with members of his troop, spent, I think, nearly 150 hours total um, down in Wilkes Cemetery, basically doing the same thing that Mr. Tremley did, just cleaning up some of the headstones and just trying to clean up the cemetery. So congratulations to Mr. Warren, and I think um, they'll be putting forward his award ceremony, I think, Thanksgiving or wintertime, because obviously he's going off to college. Tomorrow night, I am going to be attending a Boards and Commissions seminar uh, that's put on by the Inspector General. So I'll have an opportunity to brush up on open meeting law and ethics violations and responsibilities of those involved in town boards. So if I bring back anything interesting, I will share with the group. <laughs> and lastly, on Thursday, I will be coming to the Common because the Sutton Cultural Committee is going to be sponsoring a concert for Forever Fab. For those people who attended it last year, they're a Beatles cover band, and not only do they play the songs, I think they tell a little bit of the history, and there is a rain contingency, so this event's rain or shine. If it's sunny outside, it'll be on the common, and if it's rainy, they'll be hosting it inside the First Church. And that, Mr. Chairman, is all I have for this evening. Thank you. Wendy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just have one comment. I actually want to thank Jesse and your family for Christmas in July at the Senior Center. Um, my family participated in that. It was a phenomenal event. And I hope, uh, like the 4th of July celebration, it becomes an annual event. Not to put any pressure on you. Uh, but your family did an amazing job. Your daughter is an incredible volunteer. Yeah, and so thank all, you very all much. kudos definitely goes to Hannah, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, she did a phenomenal job. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Jonathan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have nothing for tonight. Jeff. I have nothing as well. Thank you. Yeah, I also wanted to mention uh, Christmas in July. So it was really a nice event because I, I got my car washed for free. <laughs> I got some lunch down there. Uh, got to hang out with some folks at the Senior Center. Hannah did a terrific job. There's two things worth mentioning, though, from, from, from the lunch. We had something called um, uh, frozen hot chocolate, um, which is a little hard to explain. A bit of an oxymoron. It was delicious. Um, but the other thing that we had uh, were some uh, uh, some little mini gingerbread men, um, which Jesse himself actually baked, Did. and they were delicious. Um, so they were frosted or some kind of had a buttercream frosting. One thing that I noticed though, <laughs> they were all bald. Well, you know, <laughs> you know, I got to look in the mirror after all. So anyway they were delicious so thank you very much it was a great event thanks to the senior center and everybody down there it was a lot of fun uh, that's all I have so at this point I would take a uh, motion to adjourn Mr. chairman I move to adjourn I will second that motion motion a second all in favor aye, aye. aye. thank you very much <laughs>